much love, many blessings. Ooh, I'm very tired. But the grind just don't stop. But anyways, what is it? Friday, Venus Day vibes. Still grinding through this retrograde. Still grinding through this Virgo season. Um, have you been noticing that? Uh, now that we're at the end of the week, have you noticed that? Um, people maybe have been complimenting you. Um, or really just giving you that extra honorary attention or just praises for being in your bag or just being a go-getter during this time. Maybe you've been feeling very productive and been feeling like you can accomplish uh, what it is that you want. Uh, personally, I'm glad that it is Friday. It's felt like it's been a long week. Um, sometimes um, I do kind of want to touch on this because when I'm creating content or just kind of in my routine flow, I really forget what the day, what day it is. And like, I don't, I stop keeping a watch, like a personal watch, um, because honestly, I always really feel like I know what time it is. Like you really can feel the time. Like, like when I look at the fucking sun, I can usually tell what time it is. Like on some real shit, like I don't know fucking like, uh, in the like MacGyver out in the wilds type shit, but just, I don't know, like just over time, like this synchronicity, um, I usually I can tell what time it is. So I don't need a watch and the only time I need I only keep telling really my own reference for time is really keeping up with my appointments and just obligations I have to do but I don't really need to know second to second what time it is um, my, my body and my spirit usually just know intrinsically what it is and um, I say that to say that like time really do like not to kind of bind to like kind of put out that cliche that spiritual cliche with like time just kind of being like a construct but like that's like real shit because like what i have noticed is that when you're moving with grace or when you have a lot of money it's either one or both time seems to stop and what i started to notice is when i'm in like survival mode or like when things aren't necessarily going the best or like i gotta scramble to do shit or i gotta meet a deadline i start to feel like time is really really short and there's not a lot of it and I've noticed that when I have the same obligations, like when I'm really like really up, up, like like racks up, just whatever. I noticed that time really just don't be a factor. I sometimes don't know what day it is and things like that. And I, like it makes you wonder, like, what is that? What is that energy? Like when you have what you need, like really the only awareness of time that you a lot of times have is what you're able to accomplish and what you're able to do. So when your needs are met, when you have money, or you're not obligated to a system where your energy is being itemized out because that's really what it is when you work um, an hourly rate you're you're exchanging your time for a rate so when you're making your own money or you're you have multiple avenues and money is made at your leisure or at your pace or at your value then time has a different reference because you're, we're always used to equating like okay this many hours gets me this much value and when one of the things so it's not just from being like an entrepreneur or, or making your own money but when you're not somehow confined to a constraint where you have to give this to get this value whatever the energy exchange is um i think that i i, I noticed personally that like even just like last week i kept getting the fucking days mixed up and i don't even think it's just because of the retrograde because sometimes when we do have a retrograde like i do get uh the days off i might think like um it's a couple days ahead or a couple days behind but i've been noticing lately i've been feeling like i'm a couple days ahead and i'm like what is that in my spirit it's like okay is this the sensation of spirit letting me know like oh you don't have to rush everything is happening in divine order the timing is great everything's moving in your favor you're not behind you don't feel like the rug is being pulled out from under you on your platform oh you have a safety net so when you when you have security when you have abundance when you have money or when you have the things that you want time really is relative to the situation you only feel like you're running out of time or you don't have enough time when you have more to do then you have time to get to the authentic desires that you want to actually put your energy into. Uh, so, like, just with this time period, like, you know, in particular, it's like, okay, where do we actually find the time to get to? Um, you know, because sometimes I have to tell myself, like, just not get in my, my head space, not even just in the fucking Virgo season, but, like, when you're in your head, that's where a lot of time really just goes. So, it's like, okay, with this week and how we're moving... Speaking of time, speaking of being patient, like, you know, we, we got these energies. Um, 
with like Libra, Libra in the retro, uh, retrograde with Mercury, you know, are we really honoring ourselves? And it's like, you know, I keep bringing up time because it's hard to sit still. And Libra is a actually a passive sign, you know what I'm saying? So it's interesting that being asked to sit still or you may be having difficulty not taking action when you want to align uh, some things that are out of balance within your your space like and what's been going on this week because like especially with a lot of connections that we care about it's really hard to play the piece when um we're so considerate of all the energies that are operating around us that it makes me feel the like the imposter syndrome like and people around you within the connections may be feeling as if who is this person you may be wondering who this person is and that's because if you haven't been being this person or even worse if you've been being your authentic self in dosages and then when people outside uh, not even outside of you but people who are connected with you see this they see something that's outside of the norm and think that that's different and then you feel like well this authentic person i'm being is actually the imposter because i'm not being this enough and because i'm not because I'm not conforming and doing the things that everybody likes, um, I feel conflicted. And even, like, personally, even with my, I know it can be hard, because even with my solidarity, sometimes I, like, with this this, this energy, like, um, with the Mercury, uh, Mercury Libra, where are we? Yeah, like, even with uh, Mercury and Libra, with their retrograding, I've been highly considerate of other people's feelings, more so even in my own and even on this light end i've just been hyper or sensitive or aware and it's like okay is this stopping me it's like okay what do you want it's like because you got to make sure that you're getting what you want and sometimes we're always trying to play a piece or leave it trying to maintain the peace within the connections but it's really important right now if you've been feeling that like imposter syndrome or been feeling like you haven't been yourself especially when you've been just attempting to actually do more of what it is that you don't do enough of that aspect is actually the imposter syndrome and the projections of from people who don't only are meeting you as deep as where they can meet themselves is the shallowness that you're you're feeling during this time. But so long story short, with this Venus Day, we really want to bring out the love. Um, a lot of this week, personally for myself, like when I've been feeling conflicted or even just remotely insecure, like because it's a devotion thing, you got to keep showing up every day. Like, I've been listening to the love frequency, and honestly. Uh, when you get in your thoughts, like our thoughts, our minds, we psych ourselves out and we think ourselves into rigid dairy. And sometimes instead of just allowing things to flow, um, we cut ourselves off from things that we even need to be receiving that are good for our benefit. So when we listen to frequencies or we listen to just the, the vibrations for what they are, we're just taking that in without judgment, unbiased, and it's pure, you know, binary state, zero and one. It's just no judgment. It's just source. So it's good because sometimes... It's not about what I think love is or what you think love is. Sometimes it's just what it is on paper, what it is at source in truth. And that's what we need to operate. And that's sometimes what I, I have to do sometimes because it's a lot of fear saturation. It's a lot of exposing. It's a lot of inauthenticity. It's a lot of indemnity going on. And, you know, walking in love does not mean being open and gullible, but it means walking with vulnerability and fierceness. And that's an everyday challenge. So, you know, you got to do the thing because everybody's shit is different. You know, I might listen to frequencies. There's so many fucking modalities out here that everything don't work the same for everybody. You know, like I even when I do things, that's not a one stop shop. I assess people as is for what they are based on their unique chakra health system. You know what I'm saying? You might need this. You might need to do a fucking Hail Mary. You know, you might need to light a candle. You might need to do a massage, a massage therapy, do some Reiki work. Uh, you might need to do a past life regression. Everybody's shit is different. But the point is that. Like, we got to honor what is helping us to uh, reach that tone and to activate that vibration. And for me, I, I know my mind, like, I hyper-focus on things. So it's important for me to not focus on bullshit, you know. Um, so, like, when I focus on the love and attract those things, more of those good things happen. So, like, all in all, it's like, I hope this is resonating with you and that you're enjoying your Venus Day. I know that it can be challenging moving through retrogrades, but... Um, all retrogrades don't have to be bad. They're really just ascension tests so that you can level the fuck up, you know, and see your growth so that you can break these cycles. Because when you enter into retrogrades, like, you're entering in at where you're at. So you're picking up where you left off with a lot of old situations and old connections. So sometimes when we revisit exes or revisit old perspectives, if you go into that, that karmic cycle 
um, when you come in that retrograde, when you come out of it, you may pick up back with something that you had already previously left behind and start that back over again. So these, these retrogrades are also tests to see if you are actually breaking out of your loops and growing and evolving. Cause sometimes we need that guideline to help us to see when we have a boundary, it kind of reminds me of, um, uh, Evangelion and, and there was a part when they got to the low budget part before they remade, because I watched it back in the day, and before they remade uh, the ending to Evangelion as an anime uh, with, with mechs and shit. And they basically, when the character was in kind of like this this existential state, it was just, it was showing all white and how the narrator, God or whatever, was telling uh, Shinji, the main character, that he could do anything he wants, but it was an all white screen. And because it was all white with no boundaries and no sense of parameters, he didn't know what he wanted to do. But the moment the narrator drew a line, he had a line to define. He's like, well, I can step over that line. I can come behind it. I don't, I can walk up to it. I can meet at the line. I can erase the line. Now I have a reference point. And sometimes we, we need a reference point uh, because we, we forget that we can do anything. We're always just trying to remember that we can do anything. But when we're saturated by everything, then we don't do anything. So we got to bring things in perspective. We got to bring ourselves into perspective. We're feeling imposter syndrome. We got to bring that back home and find what's the truth of ourselves. Are we being truthful? Are we not? Or is it a projection? Is it illusion or is it real? Um, ultimately, we got to use the source of love because a lot of times when I'm feeling this fuel to do things, my first mind, even still sometimes, it'll be fear fueled. And I'll be like, whoa, hold up. I got to do these things. Don't get me wrong. But why does it have to be fear fuel? Why can't it just be love fuel? Like, I'll feel good when I resolve this. I'll feel good when this isn't operating anymore. I'll feel good when I've accomplished this. And why does it have to be a fear thing? Like, oh, if I don't hurry up and do this, man, it's just going to fall down. I'm going to fall behind on this. It's like, it's the same energetic motivation, but what am I putting it into? So let's, ultimately, that's what I want to do today. I hope that you're able to remind yourself to do that for yourself. Um, enjoy this Friday. Enjoy everything that's coming. I still got part two segments coming. If you're um, for the uh, the Virgo season and the retrograde wisdom, so definitely look forward to that. Um, I tried to do lives earlier, but I'm not surprised I've been running into resistance um, just with the connectivity. So if that doesn't work, I may actually do uploads because it is like a lot of content that I want to do. So just stay posted. Uh, I'm really feeling good vibes. Walk in your truth today. Really feel yourself today. Really love yourself today. Ashe, much love, many blessings. Take care.